Hello and welcome to this video on magnetization and a few tips and tricks on this. So we're going to start off with uh, just looking quickly at these Ogren that magnetized. Um, their arms for the cannons have been magnetized and then along with their power malls. The shields I didn't bother magnetizing because those just dry fit in really easily. So we're going to look at this one over here as an example. Uh, so basically the main two pointers that I wanted to mention in this video are basically um, polarization, getting that right, and then also propping your magnets so that they line up properly. Now those are the two trickiest things with magnetizing, especially with extremely tiny magnets. So you'll notice here, I put a little drop of red in there. There's a reason for it. On all of my guys here, I've actually put different colors. There's a gray. Here's a blue. And those line up with markings on the torso. So again, this one was red. And there on his body, it is also red. So that's one thing that you can do to really help your magnetization job. There we go, it just fits on there perfectly. So there's his arm switched out. Now, one other key point with this, is when you're magnetizing and you don't have anything to anchor your magnet onto, cut up a toothpick and prop it behind your magnet. Uh, you might have to fiddle around with it a bit, but it helps so that the magnet has something to anchor onto. And also, the wood will absorb the glue, and this one here has a little bit in there as well, if I can zoom in on here. Yeah, that one there, actually, it's very hard to see, but there's a little bit behind there. I'll move on to this guy again, and really see that piece of toothpick right back there. So. That really helps with uh, keeping your magnets where they need to be. And of course, using a little drill really helps as well, instead of using your hobby knife, which can be a real pain if you're constantly trying to scrape out pieces. So, and then you'll have your magnets hopefully line up pretty good. And then of course, getting the right size magnet's important and strength of the magnet too. Some of these guys aren't the best, so if you grab them by the arm, their arms will come off, but they're good enough as long as I don't slam them down too hard, like that guy's fine. That guy's a little wobbly. Um, yeah, that's a quick tip on magnetization. Um, one last little bit as well is make sure that you paint whatever side of the magnet you want to know exactly what polarization it is. So let's say you have um, this main part in the body and you want to make sure that your magnet attaches to it, dry fit it, and then paint the side that you're going to glue in so then you know that when you go to put this on, you're going to be able to have it attach and not repel, being the same polarity. You want it to be the opposite polarity so that it sticks in. So again, just painting the magnet that you're going to be putting in, let's say the arm, so the painted side would go in to the actual arm and then your clear side would be visible and it would join perfectly with your bull grip. So there we have it. We'll leave off with a little nice shot of these guys. So there's the leader, all the different weapon options, the slab shields, nice cool little goggles. And there we go. So until next time, happy hobbying.